Hey guys, this is DG. Today, we are going to understand what is an IP address and how you can find your computer's or your smartphone's IP address. So let's start. Computers in internet communicate with each other with underground or underwater cables or wirelessly. If I want to download a file from internet, then my computer should have an address so that other computers in internet can find and locate my computer. In internet terms, that address of computer is called IP address. Let us understand it with other example. Like if someone wants to send you a mail, then he or she should have your home address. Similarly, your computer also needs an address so that computers in internet can send you a file that you want to download. That address in internet terms is called IP address, which is nothing but a string of numbers written in a certain format. Note this comparison. This is your home address, which is identified by your area postman and you get all the things delivered in this address. Similarly, this is your computer address, which is identified by the computers in internet and you get all the downloads available at this computer address. This address is the IP address of your computer. IP address stands for Internet Protocol Address. But what does this mean? Internet Protocol is a set of rules that makes internet work. You are able to watch this video this time in YouTube only because your computer or your smartphone has an IP address and YouTube is sending you all the data related to this video to this IP address. IP address is of two types, Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. Internet Protocol version 4 consists of four numbers separated with the dot. Each number can range from 0 to 255 in decimal numbers. But computers do not understand these decimal numbers. So these numbers are converted to binary form which is computer understandable. Therefore, in binary, this range can be written as 0000000 1111. Since each number n is represented by a group of 8 binary digits, so the whole IPv4 address is represented by a sequence of 32 1s and zeros, or simply I should say by a sequence of 32 bits. So IPv4 is a 32 bit address. In IPv4, a unique sequence of 1s and zeros is assigned to each computer. Therefore, a total of 2 raised to power 32 devices, that is approximately 4 billion devices, can be addressed and connected to internet with IPv4. But there is a problem with this 32-bit IPv4 address. With IPv4, we can connect only this amount of devices to internet. But these days, we have devices like computers, smartphones far more than 4 billion. So, slowly we are moving towards IPv6 address, which is a 128-bit IP address. In human-friendly form, IPv6 is written as a group of 8 hexadecimal numbers separated with colons. For example, in human-friendly form, the IPv6 address can be written like this, while in computer-friendly form, IPv6 address can be written by a sequence of 128 ones or zeros. Since a unique sequence of ones and zeros is given to each computer connected to internet, so with IPv6, a total of 2 raised to power 128 devices can be connected to internet. That is, IPv6 can address this amount of devices, which is actually far more than enough for many future generations. To find your computer's public IP address, Write, what is my IP in www.google.com. Google will tell you your computer's public IP address. Similarly, to find your smartphone's public IP address, write or just say, what is my IP in your smartphone. Google will tell you your smartphone's public IP address. Without this numeric protocol, we would not be able to connect to internet. And without internet, we would be standing in long queues to get our train tickets, we would be looking at newspapers to see where jobs are available and we would be buying storage devices like CDs because without internet, cloud storage would not work. So IP address is must for internet connection. IP address can be classified as dynamic IP address and static IP addresses. 
starting with dynamic IP addresses. When you connect your device like smartphone or computer to internet, internet service provider provides you an IP address from the range of available IP addresses. Now your device has an IP address so you can connect your device to internet and send and receive data to and from the computers in internet. Next time you connect your device to internet, your internet service provider provides you some different IP address but from the same available range. Since IP address keeps on changing every time you connect your device to internet, so such IP addresses are called dynamic IP addresses. Now static IP addresses. Static IP addresses never change. They serve as permanent internet address. Static IP addresses are used by DNS servers. What are DNS servers? Actually these are computers that help you to open a website in your computer. Static IP addresses provides information such as device is located in which continent, which country, which city and which internet service provider provides internet connection to that device. Once we know who is the internet service provider, we can trace the location of the device connected to internet. Therefore, IP address allows billions of digital devices to be pinpointed. Static IP addresses are considered somewhat less secure than dynamic IP addresses because they are easier to track. However, following safe internet practices can help you to keep your computer secure no matter what type of IP address you use. If this video was helpful to you and you have learned something from this video then please like this video and like our Facebook page too. Link is provided in the video description. Subscribe to Tech Terms if you want to learn more. Thanks for watching.